Are you serious? Are you serious? We have breaking news. We now know who Jihadi John, we know who he is. This brutal murderer from the Islamic State who's been beheading pe innocent people on these videos that's been released into the world. He is Jihadi John, the killer has been featured in several Islamic State beheading videos. His name, he's from Britain, and his name is Mohammed Imwazi. Mohammed Imwazi, a Briton from a middle-class family who grew up in London, England, and graduated from college with a degree in computer programming, according to the Washington Post. In some videos released by the Islamic State, the masked, black-clad, militant, uh, brandishing a knife and speaking with an English accent, appears to have carried out the beheadings of hostages, including Americans and Brit British hostages. The Washington Post says that Imwazi was believed to have traveled to Syria around the year 2012 and later joined ISIS. His real name, according to the friends and families, is Mohammed Imwazi. He is British. He is from a well-to-do family, grew up there in West London. He graduated from college. He's not an unemployed, uneducated radicalized teenager who watched a YouTube video. These are individuals that have been trained, raised in Islam. And unfortunately, they take the Quran literally when it says you should kill the infidels. And so what we have here is a radicalized ideology, not radicalized individuals. The individuals are all byproducts of a radicalized ideology, an end-time eschatology of death to usher in the Muslim Messiah, the 12th Imam, the Mahdi, or the Mahdi, whichever way you would like to say it. And one thing's for sure, the evil is just beginning. You know, Jesus said these are the beginning of sorrows. I'm telling you, for those of you who are tired, you're exhausted with war, I'm sorry. The pay, Listen, the red horseman is just now galloping. The wars and rumors of wars will become numerous, overwhelming even. The chaos, the distress of nations with perplexity. The, knee, uh, the sea and the waves roaring. The Bible tells you that their nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes, of course, in different places. But these are just the beginning of sorrows. It tells you that the armies are going to come past. Jerusalem tells you that Jerusalem will become a cup of trembling. Believe me, ISIS hates the Christians and Jews, but their ultimate goal is the Levant, the Muslim caliphate. You know, and I'm writing a book right now. I was, again, working last night late on it. And, I'm, and I give you the full history of ISIS from its very con conception and uh, its leader, al-Baghdadi, and take you all the way. And it gets uglier every day. And folks, this, this has really started around mid-June of 2014. And exactly like the Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, they are cruel and will show no mercy. So we're living in the last days. So we know who Jihadi John is now. And we know that there are many more. Please pray. These 150 Christians, some say there are 200 of them, maybe more, that are 
right now being held hostage by ISIS. And ISIS is threatening to slaughter them all if the United States doesn't stop bombing them. So we need to really pray, folks. We're in the last days. Pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ and for all these innocent civilians in Iraq and Syria and around the world.